Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the third problem of our mail long contest that is called score high. It's a tricky problem, like so. Let's get started. Our chef is taking a tough examination. Okay, our chef is now an examiner. Okay, the question paper consists of n objective problems, and each problem has four options, like MCQ type questions, A, B, C, and D. Out of which exactly one option is correct? Uh, I'm sure it's a MCQ type question. Since chef didn't study for the exam, oh. He does not know the answer of any of the problems. Okay, like me, chef was looking nearby for help when his friend somehow communicated the following information. Okay, who is the author of this problem? Uh, Utkarsh uh, ADM. Okay, thank you, bro. Okay, now the option is exactly any problems have option A is the answer. Okay. Exactly in B problems have option B as the answer. Okay, like Note that in a plus in B plus in C plus in D equal to n that means we have in a problems We have in B problems and total four problems equal will be in each problem is worth exactly one mark That is each problem has one mark and there is no negative marking. Thank you. I love it even though chef knows the number of correct options of each type that means chefs know that how many correct options of each type but he does not know the correct answer exactly of a question based on the given information find the maximum mark chef can guarantee if he marks the answer optimally okay fine our input form is first of all test case as usual and then First line of each test case contains an integer n denoting the number of problem. That means the n is the number of problems. How many problems we have that is n and the sum of n a plus n b plus n c plus n d equal to n. Okay. <coughs> Second line of each test case contains four integers n a, n b, n c and n d as mentioned in the problem statement. Okay. Well, now what will be our output of this problem? For each test case, output the maximum marks chef can guarantee if he marks the answer optimally. Okay, fine. Now our input format is first of all test case is two, then our total prob uh, number of problems is five, and the problem is zero zero five zero. Then the output for this test case for this test case is five, and then our total number of problem is 10 and the option is 7 1 1 1 and the result is 7 and let's read the explanation uh, test case 1 chef knows that all the problems have answer as option C because the highest number of 5 uh, I will tell you later this concept and thus he will make all the answers as C and get 5 marks okay and then test case 2 it will be optimal for chef to mark all the option as a remark it option c and option a the highest number of four is five and the highest number of these fours of seven mark it which will yield him seven marks fine thus irrespective of the answer key chef can guarantee seven marks by marking all answers as option a it makes sense that the maximum number of these four options is the answer. The maximum number of these four options is the answer. Okay, now go to the code. The first line is we need to take the value of t as our test case and then it will iter uh, iterate those, those t uh, types of uh, number of times t and then we need to take input of n and n equal to 4 because every time we need four options that's why i declared n equal to four for this uh, space separated for taking space separated n because it has uh, it's written here that first line of each test case contains n integer n denoting the number of uh, number of problems and we know the number of problems are uh, number of problem is four so i declared n equal to four for taking four numbers uh, by space separated and then this number is what is a list and 
I uh, I'm finding the maximum number of this list because now let's print this number you will see a list print anyway number now run the code okay uh, sorry the, uh, this is not I want to run the code score high yes okay now uh, the option uh, input I'm going to copy it and paste it here look at that 0050 this is a is a list 7111 this is a list because I am printing a number first and then the maximum number of this list okay and this is uh, the, that's why I call it tricky problem okay and in the next video I will solve the degree of polynomial okay thank you very much